This tutorial is going to show you how to responses in the new version of Forms, February of 2016. Once you have responses submitted, and basically just to show you, like we said, it only creates one form. You do not have automatically a form and a spreadsheet for responses like you used to. So when we're in the practice form, all I have to do now, you can see how many responses you have. It's two. I click on responses, and you can look in two ways. There is the summary, and it shows you you only had one response that wasn't required question. And the summary of responses gives it in a graphic interface, not a spreadsheet interface. So you can see all how you see all the different responses. There's a couple things. <clears throat> You can also now look at the individual responses. And basically, it shows you the individual's whole response. And you just can go one of two, two of two. It allows you to print response if you want, just that response. And you could delete the response. Another thing you can do responses is, if you decide at a certain date you don't want to accept responses anymore, maybe you said this form has to be filled out by February 10th and you don't want any more responses, you can simply click on it and it'll say not accepting responses. And the message they will get is it's no longer accepting responses, try contacting the owner. So if it's a quiz and you don't want kids to take it after a certain time, you can turn this on. If you want to turn it off, simply click back and you're once again accepting responses. Now, if you were a person who wants that spreadsheet view, you like seeing the data in a spreadsheet, the icon right here is to create a spreadsheet. You simply click on it, and you can create a new spreadsheet, and it will call it Practice Forum Responses, or if there is some spreadsheet you already want, you can select an existing spreadsheet to put the data into. So if you do create a new spreadsheet, you simply hit create, even says down there it was linking to a spreadsheet, and now you can see your data in this view. So some people do like having the data in the spreadsheet view, and it is still an option. It is just not, doesn't automatically happen like it did in the old version of Forms. Another option that you might find useful is right here on this menu, you can choose to get email notifications for new responses. So if you check this off, it'll say email notifications enabled, and you can see. Now that means you're going to get an email notification every time someone responds. So think about whether you want that or not. Select response destination. Once again, that takes you back to if you want to create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. You also have unlink the form, and what's that going to do? It's going to unlink the form with the current spreadsheet that was just created. And I'm not sure why you would want to. I guess maybe if you um, had all the data and you wanted to use the form for another group and you didn't want all the data coming from the new responses into the old spreadsheet, you could unlink the form. The spreadsheet won't be deleted, but it'll be unlinked and any new responses, you'd have to decide where you'd want them to go to. If you want to download responses into a CSV file, if that is a way you need to share the responses to someone who does not have Google Spreadsheets or something that it is not compatible with, you can do that as well. And if you wanted to delete all your responses, you could hit that button. But be careful. Think about it before you'd want to delete. I'd rather unlink the form and start again with a new form so you still have your data. And those are your choices for responses.